Greetings one and all to the most cursed, most cringiest corner of the internet. A YouTube channel content creator actively alienating everyone, and both the analog and digital world. Well, welcome and good evening wonderful dice of all alignments. I am Lunar D8. This is Let's Play How to Date a Magical Girl. Bah! Well, yes, Jan, things work just fine. Let's hop into this, shall we? I hope you all took lots of notes during class. I just wanted to let you know that you're all welcome to come to the teacher's office if you have any questions. <coughs> I'm usually available there most days after school, and most Yoshida and Practical Magic teachers share the same office with me. With your exams coming up, if you ever need a place to just relax and unwind, I suggest heading up to the rooftop. Yes, it's supposed to be closed off to students, but I find it it's a nice place to gaze up the sky and forget my troubles. If any teachers come by and tell you that you shouldn't be up there, just say that I told you that it was okay. I can now travel to the teacher's office and the rooftop. Miss Yoshida and Miss Arcane are here today. What should I do? Goodness me, is that... Is this the time already? I think I drift off a bit there, but I should be packing up heading home soon. I'm terribly busy this year. Not only am I teaching practical magic to everyone at every level, I'm also taking over third-year alchemy to help Mr. Steiner. The problem is terrible with the alchemy. I have to study before every class to make sure I'm ahead of the students. Oh, what good am I? Hello, did we have tutoring session booked in for today? Oh no, silly me, I spend a lot of evenings tutoring some of the students, but I often forget when I have an evening off. I hope your magical history studies are progressing nicely. We live in a world that has been greatly enriched by actions of many magical girls. Studying the magical girls of history is more important than ever. I firmly believe the events of the past help guide us here in the present. If you're ever unsure of what to do, look back to the magical girls of yore and follow their example. Ray is here today. What should I do? Spend time with Ray. Ray's affection for me isn't high enough to ask her on a date. Try to get affection level 10 before asking her. Hang out. I hang out with Ray and we talk about our favorite teachers at the academy. Ray claims Miss Arcane is her favorite. I confess that Miss Otsuka has her special place in my heart. Ray's affection is increased by one. Read book. I dive into the book and devote all of my attention to reading. Time ticks by as I turn page after page. I'm starting to get sleepy, so I'll stop here for now. Time to get some rest. I've got some time before school. What should I do? Go to school. Thanks to the efforts of a rather pesky third year student, I've been given the order to ramp up your education. So I'm going to be getting into the brewing of potions earlier than intended. I had a whole semester of alchemic history for you to learn first, but now the plan has gone out the window. No matter, brewing potions is one of the best parts of alchemy. Today you'll learn how to concoct a rather effective love potion. 
You might be thinking, how can a love potion help me in a combat situation? The answer is, it cannot. However, you need to start somewhere, and love potions can be formulated with very basic ingredients. So here we go. As with all alchemical recipes, a love potion requires three components, a base, a solvent, and a catalyst. In this instance, heart berries are used as the base, holy water as the solvent, and finally, butterfly wings act as the catalyst. All of this ingredients can be gathered in the wild. A perfect location to collect them is the forest on the outskirts of town. Even a budding alchemist such as yourself should be able to identify each of these ingredients in the wild. Right. Once you have all of your components, blend them together in a large cauldron like so. I learned how to make a love potion. Tutorial. Alchemy. Use alchemy to brew potions and assist you in everyday life. You will need a recipe of some ingredients. Recipes are learned as you progress through the game. Ingredients can be gathered in the forest. Improve your alchemy attributes to increase the number of potions brewed in session. And there you have it, a beautifully crafted love potion, ready to be administered. So what does it do? By drinking a love potion, you'll find that people instantly become more attracted to you. The effect tends to last for about a day. It usually wears off while you're sleeping. To make the most of it, I recommend drink dose bright and early in the morning. If you want to make your own, you're welcome to use the lab. Come in after your classes and use resources you like. And be sure to check out the forest on the outskirts of town. I'm sure you can find lots of wonderful alchemy ingredients there. Heck, since I'm a generous soul, I'll even give you a few components to start you off. I received one heartberry. I received one holy water. That's all for today's class. Go out and explore the forest. And use the lab to build lots of wonderful potions. I can now travel to the forest. Do I have that love potion for earlier? No, no, I do not. Library. Here's some sushi. Give sushi. Oh, I remember getting this from once before. Link, we up. I don't know if I got less or more for the fact that it's a something I already gave her. Increase by one. Spend time with Yui. Go on date. Hey Yui, I'm glad you wanted to go out today. I, I w would, wouldn't you rather hang up with someone better? Don't be silly. Come on. What would you like to do? Well, if you insist, there is a bittersweet snack that convenience store that sells what I'm really craving. If it's not too much trouble, could you come with me? Sure, I've got a craving for some Mahao Cola anyway. Also, you don't have to be so shy, Remy. Yui, we're friends, remember? Yes, I know. The walk to the store is a little awkward. I try to strike up conversation with Yui, and the an she answers my questions. But the conversation keeps falling flat. I get the feeling Yuli simply isn't very fluent in the art of conversation. She almost seems afraid of people's reactions, or worried that she'll offend someone. I make a promise myself that I'll keep talking to her unless, until she gets comfortable around me. We arrive at the store and are greeted by the cool air and the beep boop of the door's opening. Welcome, please have a look around. Yui follows me nervously around the tables, aisles, which she must think it would be rude if she left me to look for her snack. I grab the Maho Cola I've been wanting, and then turn back to her. Let's get your snack before they sell it, okay? Y yeah, though they probably won't sell out. I don't think many people like it because it's pretty bitter. We search the store high and low for snack. Where the heck is that rare unicorn of a snack that sweet Yui desires? All hope has started to slip away. I don't want to fail this girl. I'm starting to feel anxious. My heart is breaking. I was here to be a hero, but here I am, snackless and ashamed. Oh, here it is. Uh, one left. Lucky me. Guess it's more popular than I thought. I watch Yui delight, delicately reach for it when suddenly a claw-like hand snaps it up from under her fingertips. A rather nasty-looking woman with pinched nose gives Yui a look of disgust. You don't need, really need this, dear. You should try something healthier. 
I can feel my anger start to build. How can someone be so nasty? I'm about to reopen my mouth and give the woman a verbal thrashing, but Yui stops me by bowing politely. Thank you for your advice. I hope you enjoy the snack. The woman gives Yui a scowl and walks away with the snack in her grubby little hands. How could you possibly be so nice to her after what she just did? Uh, people are kind of just like that to me. Mother used to tell me to kill them with kindness. That's actually a title of one of the uh, parts of the Patches Inferno. I don't know about that. I was about to call that woman a hag. Heh. <laughs> no, you wouldn't do that. You're a good person. Okay, okay. Maybe I wouldn't. But you can't let someone push you around like that, Yui. If you can't stand up for yourself, at least let me protect you, okay? For protecting me? You want to protect me? Of course I do. We're friends, remember? Yes, friends. Thank you, Lunar Diet. She seems happy about the fact that I'm willing to defend her honor. We look around a little longer and find something else for Yui to purchase. She picks out a small chocolate bar and we approach the counter to pay. <coughs> you know, this chocolate bar comes with a free drink, so there's no need to pay for the bottle of cola. Have a great day. See? It all worked out in the end. I guess so, but you should have let me pay for the chocolate. I feel guilty getting a free soda out of it. Don't be silly. I get the strange feeling she picked the chocolate bar because she knew my drink would be free. What a sweet and caring girl. Anyway, I should get going. Okay, well, I had fun hanging out with you. Thanks for the drink. She smiles and waves off, then walks away alone. When she's out of sight, I examine my alcohol. Now as for you, my sugary love. I twist off the cap, which turns out to be a huge mistake. The soda explodes all over me. I must have accidentally shaken the bottle a little too much. But at least Yuzi isn't here to see that. There's still some time before bed. Exploring the forest. By exploring the forest, you can forage for alchemy ingredients. The quality and rarity of ingredients depends on your perception attribute. Raise your perception to find better items and more of them. Explore the forest takes some time. Be sure to plan your schedule accordingly. View forest activities. What can I buy? Cur cursed water. Which bane fox hair? Talk. Hey, yeah, uh, gather as much gear as you need. Who knows how much time the world has left? Haha, uh, sorry, I didn't mean to scare you there. It's my job to be as prepared as possible, so when the world, when the end comes, I'll be ready. Nothing's gonna catch me off guard. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. Spend time with Yui. I should try to get her affection up to level 20 for us. So you can only ask a person out of one day per affection level. Okay, makes sense. Hang out. Hang out with Yui, and a strange man approaches us to sell a slightly used ice cream? What? Yui jumps at the opportunity and I have to intervene to tell her it's not such a good idea. Yui's affection has increased by what? I like soft serve ice cream. I like ice cream in general, but I like Dairy Queen stuff, but you know, chocolate particularly, but vanilla and twist isn't bad, and there's other types of soft serve. But there was one time there was a good place called Gudaiba that had a physical store once. I'm pretty sure they all don't exist anymore, but I had some really, really good ice cream. They even had a dark chocolate soft serve. That was, that was really good. It's a shame it doesn't exist anymore. Go to school. In response to horrific monster attack, I have been encouraged to teach 
You all how to defend yourselves. I'm actually glad I now have this opportunity. Knowing my students can look after themselves will put my troubled mind at ease. So I'll do the best I can to teach you everything I know. First things first, 90% of magic girls find it too difficult to cast magical spells without first transforming into their magical outfits. You might wonder, what does a costume change accomplish? The outfits we don as magic girls are more than just fabric. There are arcane trappings that we summon from within ourselves. Each magical girl's outfit is a representation of her soul, her innermost power. Without adopting this outfit, the powers within us remain buried and are too difficult to call forth at will. I wonder, depending on like how I play the game, if the outfit my character gets is different in any way. Therefore, you need to learn how to transform into your magical outfit before we continue with the combat magic. This will require a lot of practice, and I don't expect any, any of you to master it straight away. Here are some tips on what to do. In class, we continue, I do, and I do my best to take in all of Miss Yoshida's instructions. Okay, that's all we have time for today. Over the coming week, please practice the breathing exercises we went through. Sort of like learning Chi Kong and Tai Chi. Learn how to calm your mind and listen to the magic within yourself. It's like next week we'll have guest speaker Bruce Lee. And after that, Mike Tyson. We'll continue with the transformation process next week. School's finished today. How should I spend the evening? Debate club! I mean, it's actually when it comes to clubs, she can be a bit of a pain, right? Still, okay. Study. Ami and Amy suggest a debate topic. We dive into the heated discussion. Arguments, options, thrown around. Next week's attribute is increased. The debate wraps up through, though neither side is a clear winner, that should be enough for today. Read book. I currently have a book expertise. Three. Reading it will increase my expertise after bit. There's one chapter left. Read. Dive into book and devote all my attention to reading. Time ticks by. I like to read. I finished reading book of expertise. Yay! We have a C. My expertise actually has increased significantly. Time to get some sleep. Check schedule. Library. Go to school. Hey, Lunar. What did you think of yesterday's practical magic class? Hmm, transforming an outfit seems more difficult than I thought it would be. Mio and Kaori made it look so easy. Yeah, I agree. I went home and practiced the breathing exercises, but I find it so difficult to empty my mind. Maybe my house just isn't the best environment. Having my mom at home is always distracting. She's usually stomping around or bothering me in some way or another. Sorry, Akari. If you ever want to come by to mine, you're more than welcome. My place is quiet, too. Feel free to visit, Akari. You guys, thank you. I'll definitely keep that in mind. Hey, Yui, did you have any luck with your transformation practice? Uh, no, no, not yet. Uh, so, see, the outfit is going to look like? Hmm, Miss Yoshi said it's a representation of our soul. So I guess it should match our personalities? I see. Miu had this hot red dress with roses all over it. Oh, it was hot, was it? I mean, it was fire. Flaming hot. Uh, it was literally on fire. And Kaori looked like a cat girl. It was unexpectedly cute. So does this mean that Miu's soul burns with fiery passion? And Kaori is actually a sweet, innocent person? Maybe. I wonder what my outfit will look like. It'll probably be lame. I'm scared about how mine will turn out. What if it doesn't suit me? But it will suit you. That's the whole point, silly. I suppose so. I can't even begin to imagine what my outfit will be. It'll be lamer than mine, that's for sure. I can't see it being too interesting. Wow, thanks for the support, girls. You're welcome. Teehee. Okay, everybody. Have a great weekend. Oh, I need someone for clean duty again. Let's see. Oh, crap. I didn't repeat her last Friday. I better avoid her stare. Looter, would you kindly help me clean up? Damn it. The rest of the class leaves. Feel free to enjoy the weekend. I stay behind. Satomi closes the classroom door. I was just joking about clean duty. Don't worry about that. Oh? I simply wanted to talk to you. Miss Mew has been quite pedantic about ensuring all of us teachers are following a new curriculum. I'm sure you've noticed your classes recently have jumped ahead in complexity. It's all to ensure that our students can defend themselves, heaven forbid, any future demon attacks. In addition, Mew informed me that a group of you have formed a team of sorts dedicated to defending the school. I want to applaud you for having the bravery to join in such a cause. There are not many students who would willingly risk themselves to do such a thing. <coughs> Oh well, it's no problem. Really, we were all involved in that last fight. 
I didn't think that inspired us to want to learn how to protect our school. That's fantastic. Inspired that kind of drive, that ambition, is what the Academy was built for. I'm very glad that you have found your place here. Thank you. I was a little worried I wouldn't fit in here. Nonsense. This place was built for you. Well, for students like you. Yeah, I guess so. Say, say, tell me. I have a question for you. What is it? I've noticed that you always refer to the attacker as a demon, while everyone else calls it a monster. Is there a difference? You noticed that, did you? You're quite sharp. The monsters are creatures of reality. They are natives to this world, and exist within the confines of natural law and order. They are much like animals or humans or I. Demons are abominations not of this world. They exist outside the boundaries of our reality, ever waiting for the chance to slip through the cracks and invade our world. Anyone remember Yu Yu show? Summoning magic, like you witnessed, is one of the ways to bring them forth. But demons aren't inherently magical beings. They are something more, something far beyond human comprehension. When they breach the walls between realities and enter our world, the repercussions can be catastrophic. Thankfully, this time, there were no lasting consequences. I see. Anyway, enough of that. I just wanted to congratulate you on finding your place here. Feel free to go forth and enjoy the weekend. Ah, okay. Oh, wait. That pen you always hold, what is it? Oh, this old thing, it's kind of a magical idol. I can use it to help focus my power. Some magical worlds have trouble transforming into the magical outfits. So with this, I can increase my focus and transform easier. Hmm, it seems that you would be pretty useful. Oh, it is. Back when I was a little famous, I used to rely on this every day to transform. You were famous, uh, eep, uh, hem. I was somewhat well-known magical girl in Germany many years ago. My parents moved from Japan to Germany when I was born, so I grew up there and attended a prestigious magical academy. When I graduated, I had a short but fulfilling career as a magical girl idol. Ah yes, those were the days. But nothing lasts forever, so I suppose when I turned 30, I mean in my late 20s, I was considered too old to continue being an idol. So I moved back to Japan and decided to pursue teaching. I keep this pen close by to remind me of my glory days, plus it writes really, really well. That's pretty cool. I had no idea my teacher used to be famous. Oh, nonsense. You're going to make me blush. Anyway, it's getting late. Why don't you hurry home? I will see you on Monday. Okay, good night, Sadomi. Good night, Lunar. Since the weekend's coming, I decided to text the car and ask if she wants to hang out. I wait for a while, replied, but I don't hear from her. Hmm. Maybe she has plans so we can guess I'll forget about for now. Go to a place. Library it is. You can have a book back. <sighs> Borrow a book. Book of Alchemy. Yes. Spend time with Yui. Hang out. Hang out with Yui, talk about the darkest desires. Yui is impressed by a myth I would kill to own a limited edition semi nude cutie star figurine. Yui's affection is increased by one. Read book. Read. Starting to get sleepy, so I'll stop here for now. There are two chapters remaining. Time to get some sleep. Right, Saturday.
Is there a purpose to sleeping in? Does it accomplish anything? Okay, go to the park. Meditate. Perception has increased. Meditation for today. Go home. Read book. Dive into book. Starting at sleepy, so I'll stop here for now. There's only one chapter remaining. Time to get some sleep. Sunday, check schedule. Department store. Park. Spend time with Kauri. Kauri's affection isn't high enough. Asking her a date, I should try to get her affection up to love him before I ask her out. Hang out. I know Kauri, and my stomach makes a loud, embarrassing growl. Kauri offers to buy some food by politely decline and choose to live with my shame. Kauri's affection has increased by one. Teacher's defense does not need energy. There you go. Oh, so I didn't even get the option to go. I mean, there were people that were doing evening activities that didn't even get. So what? I was supposed to rest in order to do that? Check schedule. Go to school. Oh, hello, Lunar. Hey, Akari, how was your weekend? Uh, not great. What happened? Didn't hear from you at all. You were busy? I guess so. Is everything okay? Just leave it. Akari turns to walk around and just turn going away with the girl. I wait for Akari with the gate, but she doesn't show up. I decide to shoot her a text message. After a half hour, she still didn't sponsor her. Maybe I should go to her place and see if she's okay. I hesitantly approach Akari's front door. It's been a while since I've been here, but it hasn't changed much. I knock on the door three times. I hear footsteps inside, then the door slowly cracks open. Akari pokes her head out. Lunar, what are you doing here? I came to check up on you. You didn't seem well this morning. I didn't uh, see you the rest of the day. I came home early. I have some things I need to help my mom with. Oh, is your mom okay? She's fine. Look, I'm going to be busy for the next few days, so I might not see you at all at school. Oh, well, now I can get you a thing. Some grocery store? We're fine. See you. Akari slams the door. This is bizarre. I've never seen a car act like this before. I wanted to help her, but if I keep prying, she might resist me. I'll give her a bit of space. For now, if she's not back at the school in a few days, I'll come again. Read book. Read. Finish reading book. How can you attribute has increased significantly? Time to get some sleep. Finish reading six books. Yay. We read books. I've got some time for school. What should I do? And she just doesn't exist at the top of the thing now. Go to school. Day past the usual except Akari doesn't show up to school. You notice how like everyone was like hanging out with me at the end of the day. Now it's like I just it's like okay. First couple weeks like now it's like okay I'm just by myself. Cool. That was cool while it lasted. Return book. Borrow a book. Okay. Okay. Why don't you borrow it and see if it got tea? Book of Mastery. Older guy become a better match girl. Read it to increase all of your key attributes. I'll keep it in mind. Book of Perception. Go somewhere else. Debate club. Study expertise. Study. 
It suggests a debate topic we arguments, opinions being thrown around, all hold value. Make sure these attributes are increased. Debate wraps up, though neither side is a clear winner, that should be enough for today. Read book. Read. Dive into the book and devote all my attention to reading. Time takes by to turn page after page. I'm starting to get sleepy, so I'll stop here for now. There are two chapters remaining. Time to get some sleep. Got some time for school. Check schedule. Library forest. Cool. Go to school. After alchemy class finishes, I ask you to stay back with me. Can I talk with you a moment? Of course, what's the matter? Have you spoken to Carly? No, but she's been absent for a little while. Akari and I don't speak much, even at the best of times. That's right. Akari's spread those rumors about Yui's summoning demon. I guess they never really patched up their friendship. All right, sorry to bother you about it. No, it's okay. I'm worried about her, too. It must be serious if she skips the school. Agreed, but I can't get her to talk to me. Have you been to her house? Yeah, she said she needs to help her mom with some stuff, but her mom is apparently fine. So I don't know what's going on. Intriguing. Anyway, I'll keep you updated. Want to grab some lunch? Sure. I'll see if Miu and the others are available. Library. Spend time with Yui. Hang out. Hang out with Yui and we discuss a few different topics. Yui gets a little nervous when we start talking about our hopes and dreams. Yui's affection increased by one. Yui's affection for you is high enough to go on a date. Hang out. Hang out Yui and we talk about our favorite movies. Yui slowly walks away when I go on an unstoppable rant about my favorite anime flicks. <coughs> Yui's affection increased by one. Go to school. Good morning, students. I hope you're all ready to continue your transformation training. Ah, young Kari isn't here. Is she absent today? Ah, sorry, sorry. I'm here. America runs across the field and skids in front and stops Miss Yoshida. I'm sorry I'm late. Uh, no trouble. We're just getting started. Phew, that was a close one. So it spins around me, you, and he flashes a thumbs up. I take it back by seeing her arrive all of a sudden after several days of being absent. She hums a little tune while skips over to the stand next to us. Are you okay? I'm good. I'll fill you in later. All right. Let's get started, shall we? Following from last week's session, you should know to empty your mind and focus your power. But this sounds like Gohan's speech to Videl when he taught Videl how to fly. Don't you guys pretend that you didn't try to copy that. When you reach such meditative stance, the next step is to gather up all of the energy swirling inside yourself and emit it from your eye. This really does sound like Gohan. To do this, you need to visualize yourself adopting a magical outfit. Because you don't yet know what your outfit will look like, it is very difficult to transform the first time. Once you have successfully transformed <coughs> your familiar outfit, future transformation become much easier. At that point, shouldn't it be important for us to have a mirror then? That way, if we do like accidentally transform, we can see ourselves. Thus, we can visualize it easier. This is the part of Magic Girls struck on for years. Unfortunately, we don't have years of practice. Our new curriculum requires you to be able to master your transformation within the next few weeks. So to successfully transform the first time, you need to imagine that your outfit could look like. Practice this exercise now. This lesson continues on. Okay, that's enough for today. I don't expect any of you to be able to transform just yet. Continue to practice in your own time, and we'll re reconvene next week. Hey, Lunar. Yes, are you going to film me what's going on with you? Uh, sorry, a bit overdue. Go on, then. Uh, Mom lost her job this week, so she's been pretty stressed out. Oh. So I've been trying to stay home and help her around the house. I've been trying to help her find a new job. I think the stress of it got to me too. I didn't deal with it very well. I think I mistreated you a bit. I'm really sorry. Hakari, it's okay. But why did you feel you couldn't share this with me? I don't know. Mom was ashamed. I think the shame spread to me. All right. Well, how is she doing now? I think she'll be fine. She has a new inventory lined up. So things should be back to normal in no time. That's good to hear. Send her best wishes, okay? I'm sure she'll land a new job. Yeah. Thanks, Lunar. Thanks for coming to check on me. I like that I can rely on you. Hakari, you're my childhood friend. I'll always be there for you. I know, it's just, it's nice. Will you walk home with me today? Yeah, I can do that. Woohoo, can we stop for ice cream? Are you playing? Well, I'm joking, I'll treat you. You're the best. 
Hakara and I stay out a bit later than usual and tend to get ice cream and dinner. It ends to be back to old self. Hopefully this was once off incident because I really hated not being able to do anything for her. When I get home, I decide to call it a night. Schedule. Library. Go to school. Today passes as usual. Travel. Library. Spend time with Yui. Hang out. Hang out with Yuri. I think Yui has... Uh, I think Yui has bigger lungs than me because it doesn't take long for me to pass on the floor. Yui's affection increased by one. Read book. Read. Dive into the book and devote all my attention to the reading. Time takes by, turn page to page. I'm starting to sit sleepy, so I'll stop here for now. One chapter remaining. Hello? Music's a bit off. Cafe that I can't go to yet. I don't know why I can't, but okay. Is it the weekend? It's Saturday! Why tell me about the arcade if I can't go there? To convenience store. Spend time with Akari. Akari's affection for me is high enough. Hang out. Hang out with Akari and the conversation turns to classic literature. I have nothing to say of the matter and Akari simply shakes her head. Akari's affection increases by one. Read book. Finish reading book. Dive into book. Time ticks by. Finish reading book. Yay. Time to get sleep. Schedule. Department store. Travel. Can I work on this day? Okay, let's do some work. Start work. Grab apron, put on, head behind the checkout, start work. Time goes by slowly. Here, I'll take this ramen. That'll be 100 yen. And here's your change. Thanks, peace. The customer takes his cup of ramen noodles and walks to the door. Still leaving, he sits on the ground. He takes off his back and pulls something out. It looks like a bottle of hot water. He proceeds to add the hot water to his cup of ramen noodles. Because of where he's sitting, the other customers have to step around. Um, can you eat, not eat that here? Can you go outside? Nah, dude, I won't be long. He takes the laptop out of his backpack and loads up to an extremely loud movie. Can you please move? You're in the way of the other customers. I don't think you'd hear me now. He's slurping away on his ramen watching his screen. I throw my hands up in defeat. Thanks for my expertise, I earned a bonus. Earned 2100 yen. Time to head home. My memory is that bad. It's literally just where I was at. Nope, nope, the other one. There's more than one store in a city. Do shopping. Shop. I liter oh, I literally barely don't have enough money to buy this. Because I know these things are things she would like, but I can't afford them. Okay, spend time with Yui. Hang out. Hang out with Yui and we discuss our ideal holiday decisions. Yui gets overexcited at the thought of vacation and wanders off to look at travel brochures about me. Yui's affection increased by one. Schedule. Cool. Go to school. 
Uh, this rain hasn't let up all weekend. Let's have this beautiful weather we've been having. Oh, it's raining. No kidding, I've been trying to swim at the beach, but this rain just messed up. Thanks, you can be indoors and study, right? This is giving me a reminder about the study bonus, aren't we? Nah, you should make the most of it. Rain always helps me concentrate. So much that I look forward to on this kind of weather. On the bright side, I get to use a cute umbrella. It costs more people earn a year, you know? What kind of umbrella is it? It's created by a famous Italian designer to wear it. have it imported. Wow, that side, how are you? Studies going, Lunar. Are you upholding a vow to become part of the Academy's defense team? Yes, of course, I'm studying whatever I remember to. Don't forget, you have an exams in July. And more importantly, you need to be ready should any more monsters attack the Academy. Oh, actually, is it wasn't a monster attack the Academy, it was a demon. Excuse me. Well, I had to correct you. The monster is a creature that is bound by the laws of nature, and the demon is a thing that comes from another reality. Something like that. Where did you learn this? Uh, oh, Mr. Jordan, we got it. Did she now? Excuse me. Hey, what's up, her butt? I don't know. She acts like she has to stick up her ass, but I don't think Lunar is coming, etc. I'll go after her. Huh, she probably just can't stand being corrected. Probably. Uh, do you have a class to get to? I have to some umbrella on my shoe. Right, see ya. Rain! I'm gonna check the calendar to see like if it's been raining recently. Oh no, it just recently started raining. What is it only rain like for two for one three day period once a month? That's <laughs> that's cool, but still. Okay, I'm pretty sure I recently finished a book. Return book. Borrow book. Book of Mastery. Go somewhere else. Hmm. Debate Club. Study expertise. Sound rates are somewhat inspirational. If I join the debate, I feel like my thoughts and arguments will be sharper. Study here. Debate topic, we dive into a heated discussion. Arguments and opinions of no value. Thanks to the rain, I'm more pumped up than ever, and I feel like my arguments are really hitting home. Max cheese actually has increased significantly. Debate wraps up, though neither side is a clear winner. That should be enough for today. Read book. Currently, a book that will increase all attributes. There are three chapters. Read. Diamond book. Two chapters remaining. Time to get some sleep. Schedule. Cool. School. Today passed rather uneventfully, but at least the rain has stopped. What do you mean the rain stopped? The... No. What day is it? Tuesday. Damn it! Okay, so it started raining on Saturday, so I only had one day of actual study. Okay. Travel. Field. Study magic. Study. I run through the drills I've learned so far in practical magic class. The exercise techniques are difficult to grasp. My magic attribute has increased. That should be enough practice for today. Read book. Read book. Dive into book. Schedule. Library forest. Go to school. Gather round, gather round. I have a new concoction to teach today. After the popular love potion, I've decided to teach you how to make another little brew. This one's called the Finder Potion. Play a little tongue that will temporarily boost your awareness and even send you a little good luck aura. 
When you consume a finer potion, you'll find that you're able to gather more ingredients than usual when you are exploring the forest. We'll talk about Hanny. To make this potion, follow these steps. I'll learn how to make a finer potion. And there you have it. The little beauty could be easier to make. Of course, you'll need to gather your own ingredients to make it, but as always, feel free to use the lab whenever you please. Once you have mastered the finer potion down, one every time you go out to the forest, you'll reap rewards in no time. Okay. Travel, library, spend time with Yui, hang out. Hang out with Yui, realize I'm absolutely busting you to use the bathroom, you frowns for hopping hop and down to keep it in. Yui's affection is increased by one. Still time, travel, forest, spend time with Yui. Hang out. Hang out, Yui. We discuss world politics. And this is a day's dog because Yui's no found way open my eyes. Yui's collection is increased by one. Schedule. Go to school. Today's practical magic class goes very smoothly, though none of the students are able to transform just yet. Miss Yoshida tells us we all need a little more practice, but she is looking forward to the results soon. <coughs> Travel. Debate club. Let's debate. It wraps up, though neither side is clear witted, that should be enough for today. Read book. Read. Dive into book. Finish reading book of mastery. All my attributes have increased. Time to get some sleep. Friday. Just schedule. Library. Ah, huh, there's a sixth spot over there. Okay, schedule, library, go school. Although today goes by Venison, the rain has started back up again. I recall Miu mentioning that the rain helps her concentrate. I wonder if I could use this to benefit when study. <sighs> Hopefully it's raining the whole day. Well, either way, I need to go to the library no matter what. Turn book. Borrow book. Book of magic. Spend time with Yui. Hang out. Hang out with Yui and we gossiped about the other students at school. Yui seems to think that the other first year students are all too revised for their age. Yui's faction creates for one. still technically raining, so let's sit in the park in the rain. <laughs> meditate in the rain at night in the park. The heavy rainfall is drenching my clothes. If I meditate in these harsh conditions, my efforts will be improved. It's like we're sitting underneath a waterfall like in Street Fighter. Though to be completely honest, as I've just described multiple times before, I probably would actually do that if the waterfalls were anywhere near me. Then I can take 15 showers a week standing in the rain, so, standing in that, so I think that counts. Then I'll stand and watch the rain, I just don't like being in the rain. As long as I... Though if I was going to stand in the rain, I would want to be able to hop in the shower right afterward. 
Close my eyes and try to focus on the sounds and sensation of the world around me. Time goes by slower. Thanks to the rain, my senses are still sharper than ever. I feel like I've meditated for twice as long. My perception attributes have increased significantly. There should be enough meditation for today. As I'm making breakfast this morning, I realize that I'm getting drastically low on groceries. As much of a chore it is, I'd better go do some shopping this morning. I head outside, and I'm surprised to see that it's a clear sunny day after all the rain we've been having. I expected to downpour all weekend. I take a slow, sh slow stroll down through town, inching closer and closer to the grocery store. It's a fairly quiet morning, not many people are out and about this time. I could probably get used to enjoying the world at this early hour. As I turn the corner, I notice that the clouds overhead have adopted an ominous shade of gray. Uh oh. Light speckles of rain start to patter on my face before giving way to torrential downpour. Damn it, and just when I was starting to enjoy the night's weather. Of course, I didn't bring an umbrella today, and I'm far too far from the store to make it there without getting absolutely soaked. I decide to leave for the closest shelter I can find, a bus stop on the side of the road. I duck into the bus shelter and try to shake the weather, water out of my drenched clothes. I must look as funny as I shake around like a wet dog, because I hear a soft giggle behind me, huh? Oh, this must be the sixth person, because... Yeah. I turn around and see a girl, maybe around my age. Is she a student from the academy? I don't recognize her. T? Sorry, you just looked kind of funny. Oh. I didn't mean to laugh at you, but you reminded me of a puppy after he gets out of the bath. I feel myself turning a little red. This cute girl just compared me to her little puppy. <laughs> if you want to sit down, there's room on the bench. Ah, thank you. I just finished drawing myself off and take a seat next to the girl. I'm Noriko, by the way. Hi. I'm Lunar. Nice to meet you. I don't know what happened with the rain here. One second it was sunny, and then the next. Maybe some magical girl from the academy was messing around in the weather, huh? You think a magical girl could just adjust the weather? I've never heard of any other students having that power. Other students? Oh, do you attend the academy? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm first year, but... You're a guy. How is that possible? It's a long story. For some reason, I have a tiny bit of magical power. Intriguing. I've never heard of a male magical girl before. Ha ha ha. Well, you certainly captured my attention. I always wanted to attend the academy. Are you a magical girl? If only. I'd like to pretend I am. Putting myself in a mindset of a magical girl helps me with my work. It's a real shame that I have no magical talent whatsoever. Pretending to be a magical girl helps you with your work? I'm so confused. Ha <laughs> ha, I guess. I'm not explaining myself very well. I work requires a great deal of understanding about what it's like to be a magical girl. So sometimes I feel like it's a jam because I don't have any magical power in my body. Ah, I see. What exactly do you do for work? Um, I suppose I can tell you. I doubt it's part of my fan base. I am a manga author. Whoa, really? That's pretty cool. Do you write stories or do you illustrate as well? I do everything. I write, draw, I create work and stories. You're the mangaka who's actually making the anime, the manga I read, the character. I've been doing it for so long now, the thought of doing anything else scares me. Have you worked on any manga that I might have heard of? Hmm, I doubt it. My most well-known work is pretty famous, but you're not exactly the demographic for it. I just have to wonder what manga should be referred to. It's famous, but I also am not the demographic. It could be anything. Well, I'm pretty familiar with a lot of different manga. Try me. I guess. Well, I can't hurt to tell you. It's most well-known series is Cutie Star. Cutie Star. Yeah, it's about a magical girl. Gets a lot of coverage online. And there's a few anime adaptations of video games, too. Huh, how many people out there that read manga would have liked to have, you know, met the authors of the said manga? But it's aimed at young girls, so it's no wonder you haven't heard of it. Hang on, you said Cutie Star, right? That's right, it's the name of a series, as well as the main character Cutie Star fights evil by daylight and sleeps moon. It's Sailor Moon! Given the fact that I've described my personality as Dragon Ball Z fusion of Yusuke Urameshi from Yu Hakusho and Sailor Moon, or a combination of Astolfo and Jack Hanma, or a combination of Chrono Gorgon from Soul Eater, and... I got out of breath. And Vash the Stamp... Chrono Gorgon from Soul Eater and Vash the Stampede. Or of... Stein from Soul Eater. And Nagisa Shiota from Assassination Classroom. Or Goku and Tsukasa from Dot Hack Sign. Or Vegeta and the 2003 Guilty Gear XX Testament. Or Mega Man Volnut and Alucard. Or Jim Carrey's Chip the Cable Guy with Ernest by Jim Varney. Also, there is Date from AI the Somnium Files mixed with Mikan Sumiki from Dangarapa 2, Goodbye Despair. I'm actually struggling to remember the rest of it. Uh, Shinji Akari from Evangelion and Zelos Battalion from The Slayers. It's an anime featuring Lena Inverse. And the last one would be Lich. Licked 
Bak Rihito from the anime Plunderer, and Takumi Nishicho from the game Chaos Head Noah. So yeah, I just gave you 22 anime characters. Cutie Star. Yes, Cutie Star. I feel like I'm about to faint. This can't be real. This girl next to me, she can't be the real creator of Cutie Star. It's not possible. Cutie Star ran for 35 volumes. It's been going on for years, and I've been following it from the start. The girl before me doesn't look any older than I am. It's not possible that she's been writing this manga for nearly as long as I've been alive. I have a question. Oh, well, go ahead. What did you say your name was again? My name is Norio. Norihito. Look, right, Noriko, look. Cutie Star was created by someone named Saya Yamada. That name sounds so familiar. Saya. Yamada. Yamada. I know I've heard of Yamadas. I mean, maybe it's... I know a lot of last names over here in America are, you know, belong to thousands and thousands of people that are unrelated, but... I feel like Yamada, I've heard that before. But I can't remember where. There's your first mistake. Secondly, Cutie Star from 35 volumes began in 2001. Therefore, the creator would have to be at least a fair bit older than you are. And third, of all, Cutie Star is my most favorite series of all time. I can't believe you would lie to me like this. Whoa, slow down now. Look, let me explain. I get this reaction more than you think, though it's usually from young girls. Saya Yamada is my pen name. I don't create the series under my own name, I can't handle 24-7 fame. And Cutie Stars actually began in 1999, not in 2001, and there are several unpublished versions of the origin chapter that I created back when I was toying with the story concepts that are floating around the internet. And I'm a fair bit older than you seem to think, though I'm flattered that you think that you think we're of similar age. I suppose my skincare routine really does work. I'm a fair bit older than you seem to think, though I'm flattered that you think we're of similar age. I suppose my skincare routine really does work. You know, I think we'll go and call the page, but yeah, she is a cutie. Well, later guys.